They absolutely do, Scott. And as we've been showing you throughout the morning, and these folks here are here bright and early, making sure some 4,500 meals a day are created. We're in the cold room now. It's kept at 50 degrees to make sure all of this food that's being put on these trays is kept at a safe temperature. But to get these meals out the door, they need you, Buffalo. There's one story of a Meals on Wheels recipient. It's like a friend coming to my house. Ronnie Barnes has been a Meals on Wheels recipient for the past two years. Until I see, I Following see a stroke, the Barnes lost feeling in his right hand. I can't tell him. While cooking, cold. he placed his hand on the stove and didn't realize it right away. This stove, I'm scared to go by the stove. Now, he solely relies on Feed More Western New York to get his meals. I enjoy the meal, but I also enjoy the, the friendship. Which is why we're sharing his story. It's part of a larger effort underway by Feed More Western New York to get volunteers creating even more friendships. Since March of 2020, more than 3,600 people have signed up for the Home Delivered Meals Program. We've seen a 57% increase. In all of 2020, Feed More delivered more than 1.3 million meals to more than 5,500 homebound people in Erie and Niagara counties. They're all made here at Feed More's James E. Casey Drive location. We do about 4,500 meals every day. Cold meals and hot meals prepared by 50 staffers with a wealth of knowledge in dietary needs and food safety. But to get these meals out the door, Feed More needs more people like doing a couple extras today. Marina Paul Malaszewski. We were looking for something to do. So once a week, they grab their meals over at Parkside Lutheran Church. It's actually pretty easy way to help out. The Malaszewskis have been volunteering for about two months now. And Ronnie's in there. They'll have nine deliveries to make at this Hurdle Avenue apartment complex. It usually only takes about an hour. But that's if everyone is accounted I'll for. Back over there to put the meal down. Barnes yeah. wasn't home. He left a note, but per protocol, he needs to be called. If the Malaszewskis can't get a hold of him, then they'll call Barnes's social worker. And this is another important aspect of volunteering, wellness checks, thankfully. <laughs> Barnes was at the doctor, returning just in time. He couldn't wait to let his friends in, in and share his morning adventures. And I'm gonna get some new shoes. And while he loves the friendships he's made. You all loved a lot. <laughs> We cannot forget to pass along his compliments to the chef. But well, whoever do it, do a good job. <laughs> And of course, again, this is part of a greater initiative, a week-long one that Feed More Western New York kicks off today. It's called Champions for Meals. I have Ann McKenna with me again. And this is just about creating awareness for that need that you guys have because food insecurity is not going anywhere. That's so true, Bree. Uh, we expect, especially with this uptick from the pandemic, we expect this to last at least the next three to five years. And, you know, one in six Western New Yorkers is food insecure. So uh, building awareness and talking about this is really important. Absolutely. And in terms of volunteering, what can people do today to help you guys um, help feed our neighbors in need? Well, we're always in need of volunteers, particularly for the Meals on Meals program. We're looking for people who can give us an hour of their time at lunchtime to deliver to our homebound clients. Um, so if you're interested, just go to our website, feedmorewny.org, and you can sign up right there. And it's as simple as helping out with Absolutely. I love it. So again, everything you need to know, that link is over on our website and Spectrum News mobile app. So let's show that love of love, guys, and uh, help out our neighbors in need. Bye.